Geelong is one of Australia's most dynamic cities, yet remains little known outside of the country. It's time that changed. Welcome to Geelong! <laughs> Geelong lies just 72 kilometres south of the centre of Melbourne, Victoria's capital city. And in recent years, real estate prices have rocketed as Melburnians have realised that in Geelong, you can have a lot more for a lot less. Now, I don't want this film to contribute to more price rises. So if you're watching this in Melbourne, then you know that image you have of Geelong being industrial? Well, you're right. Turn away now, there's nothing to see here. For everyone else, let's explore. The centre of Geelong is wedged between Cario Bay and the Barwon River. The land it sits on is part of Wadawurrung country, recognising the traditional Aboriginal owners of the land before the colonial invasion. When the settlement of Geelong was established by Europeans in 1838, it adapted the traditional name for the region. The new port settlement grew on the back of the Victorian gold rush and, more importantly, wool. Geelong used to be the district for all the wool through Victoria and New South Wales and even South Australia. This is after first settlement. So the wool was brought to Geelong, then was shipped out to the UK and other overseas country from this location. About half the population of Geelong back then worked in the wool industry. And here in the museum, the most precious object is the building itself. This year is its 150th birthday. First of all, it was 1972, and it's all bluestone, brick, and a lot of the steel beams are from England, and uh, it's a beautiful building. In the 1960s, Geelong saw rapid expansion as a manufacturing hub. Many of those original industries have now gone, but the home of the current AFL champions, the Geelong Cats, has successfully reinvented itself for the 21st century and was even designated a UNESCO Creative City of Design in 2017. Geelong boasts some of the best public art that you'll find in any city anywhere in the world. And if you think I'm talking bollards, then you're right. Lots and lots of bollards. From the Botanic Gardens to Rippleside Park, you'll find 104 bollards depicting characters from the city's past. Miss Geelong is looking good. Miss Melbourne, nah, having a bad day. The artist, Jan Mitchell, repurposed old timbers from a demolished city pier. And what a legacy she left for the city. They appeal to all ages and they can't help but put a real smile on your face. The bollard greeting visitors to the gorgeous Geelong Botanical Gardens is Daniel Bunce. He was the first curator of the gardens, though opened to the public in 1851. Legend has it that he found it a challenge to keep his plants in the gardens rather than decorating the gardens and mantelpieces of the local Geelong ladies. It's thought that the Lady Bollard might depict the alleged flower thief Mary Sibley. comes to shopping in Geelong you can buy anything and I do mean absolutely anything. This is the Pop Culture Gallery we've been here since about 2017 we're located in North Geelong at the Federal Mills and essentially we sell all kinds of high-end collectibles and products as you can see here with our massive life-size statues of Iron Man and Thanos as well as a few other ones yeah it's pretty incredible here if you come in you want something you find something that you like We'll sell it to you. Simple as that. What's 
special about Geelong. Um, our makers and our artists are special in Geelong. Uh, what makes them so special is the support network that they offer for one another. There's this interconnectedness. It's still a big city, but a smaller city. Um, people know each other, the artists are here to support one another. Um, that's the thing I most love about Geelong, is just the wonderful people that live here. It's my birthplace. I've seen the town change, and it's a town which has expanded quickly over the last few years, but it's not like the capital cities like Melbourne or Sydney. It's still got that country feel about it. It's got to be the people and just the location. We're really close to Melbourne, which is, in my opinion, the best city in Australia. Uh, and we've just got so many beaches and things nearby. It's just all around a really fantastic place. In the spring of 2022, Geelong replaced Melbourne as the mainland port for the Spirit of Tasmania ferry, making the city a gateway to Tasmania, as well as the Bellarine Peninsula, the surf coast and of course the fabulous Great Ocean Road. Geelong is now definitely on the map. Melbourne's noisy neighbour has well and truly arrived. Geelong. Geelong. Geelong.